Bonsoir. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Sometimes I live in the country. Sometimes I live in town. Sometimes I have a great notion to jump in the river and drown. I Good Night Irene by Leadbelly, Huddy Leadbetter. It's an old folk standard. I skipped a couple of the dark verses and went straight to the foxes sleep in the forest and lions sleep in their den. Anyway, hope everyone's doing well. Again, I'm doing these songs because I am interested in supporting and promoting awareness of the Mendocino Trail Stewards and their efforts for a Redwood Forest Reserve on the Mendocino Coast. Um, yeah, those forests have been logged for a really long time. And I'm not saying logging is bad. You know, we use trees for a lot of things. Um, but I personally, you know, redwoods are kind of a naturally rare species anyway. Back when there were dinosaurs walking around, there were like gigantic dragonflies and tree ferns and redwood trees. Redwood trees used to be like all over the United States and... Europe and parts of Asia it used to be a really common thing and now we just have the Dawn Redwood which lives in a very small uh, place <laughs> small population in China they actually thought it was extinct 
and we have the giant sequoia, which you'll see if you go up to Yosemite or Sequoia National Park. And we have the coast redwood that lives just from Big Sur just into the border of Oregon. And it only goes about like 30 miles inland generally. So it's a naturally rare species and it's super valuable wood. So a lot of it's been logged. So I really want to protect them. And they also are arguably the best tree at sequestering, sequestering carbon, which is a pretty important thing these days. So anyway, I'm learning more every day about what's going on. I still haven't contacted the Mendocino Trail stewards to say, hey, my name's Bracken, Susie. I have a master's degree and I like to sing. How can I help you? Um, and I haven't written a letter yet or anything, just doing these videos, but I would really love to see that area protected um, for future generations, for the carbon sequestration values of those trees. I feel like forests are a gift. They're not really our right to chop down and stuff. That's my personal belief. So, anywho, <laughs> thanks for listening. This is episode four or five, I'm not sure. I love making these videos and saying hi to y'all, so I hope you're all doing well out there, and I'll catch you on the flip side. All right.